What happens when melodic death metal and atmosphere collide? What do I think of Val's crazy new album, Magus? And what the heck is the deal with Pig Destroyer? All that coming up on episode 2 of Metal Ed Central. Caleb here once again with more reviews of albums from the past week or so in heavy music. Today we're going to look at three of them. Omnium Gatherum's The Burning Cold, Thou's Magus, and Pig Destroyer's Headcage. So, I won't say any more except, welcome to all the newcomers. Also, we do have a companion Facebook page for this show. Link in the description below. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and let's get on with it! Omnium Gatherum's The Burning Cold was a great album of melodic e prog e death e metal from the Swedes. This band really knows how to play around with atmosphere so that it doesn't overpower the song. It reminded me a lot of what Dark Tranquility did on their last album. However, at the same time, it's not so subtle that you don't know it's there. The Burning Cold had some solid tracks on it, but my favorites were probably Rest in Your Heart and Over the Battlefield. These cuts were absolutely outstanding in nature, and the riffs used on them were very, very memorable, and again, they pulled in that element of atmosphere, and it really works. Overall, a solid, solid album from these veterans of the Melodeath scene. I give The Burning Cold an 89 out of 100 on the YPS scale. Now we come to the disappointment of the week. Thou's weird new album, Magus. For me, this was a complete crap show of an album. It's like these dudes didn't know what they were going for, so they just continued in a downward spiral doing what they were doing, and it was completely grating on the ears. Uh, the upside to this album? They have a solid drum section? Other than that, it's probably not worth your time. Unless you're into the whole weird, experimental, loud music style. If so, then maybe pick it up. But for me, that was a no-go. I give Thou's Magus a 65 out of 100 on the YPS scale. Now finally, we come to a band that never ceases to deliver the punishing, pummeling brutality that grindcore fans love. Pig Destroyer dropped their new album, Headcage, last week, and it was... different. It was definitely different from any other grindcore releases that I've heard. Now, granted, that hasn't been much because grindcore isn't exactly my favorite metal subgenre, but from what I've seen, grindcore thrives on two things really short songs, and rapid-fire, politically-charged lyrics. Now, Pig Destroyer doesn't really give either of those on this album, but hey, who said Grindcore had to be all that, am I right? This album was way better than I thought it was going to be. Pig Destroyer, they seem to have some sense of songwriting ability that I don't see in other Grindcore bands. For a lot of other Grindcore bands, it's about being as fast and as harsh as possible. There's really no direction. With this album, there was a lot of direction. Now, the Pig Destroyer album, Terrifier, was a favorite of mine. Until this came out. I was very impressed with the band's willingness to play around with hardcore, grindcore, and, dare I say it, metalcore influences to craft this album. Yes, there are a few metalcore-ish vibes that I heard here and there on the album. It can also be delightfully groovy at points. But you know what? It works. It really, really does work. The introduction alone is worth purchasing the album, but the rest of the album is just as dandy. I give Head Cage a 95 out of 100 on the YPS scale. So there you have it. Short, sweet, and to the point. Much like a grindcore song. Episode 2 of Metalhead Central is in the books, folks. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out our Facebook page. Next time, going to be a bit of an odd dynamic on the show as we take a look at a Christian metal group, Fit for a King, and their new album, Dark Skies. We're also going to take a look at death metal icons, Deicide, and their new album, Overtures of Blasphemy. Should be good, so I hope to see you there.